Hi ukulele group, okay we're going to look at our song Jingle Baroque, our Christmas song for the year. Um, I'm going to break this into three parts. The first part we're going to look at today um, looks at the first two verses. Um, and it's quite simple. The only uh, hard chord is our D7. We haven't really done that chord before. It's essentially simple, however Changing from a D7 to the G7, which is what it does in the song, is a little bit tricky and requires some practice. So we're going to be looking at the first two verses that you can see. You should have that with you. We've practiced this top line a lot. You should be quite familiar with that. I'll show you what that looks like. So we go from our C to our C major 7, C6 to a C major 7. And the whole while we're doing the strumming pattern that I called kind of down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 up. It's kind of like a skipping. So you kind of want to have a practice of that. Up, 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 up. You can even skip around while you're doing it. And uh, the next line is C6, C major 7 again. So you're just going off, on, off, on. Pretty simple. Um, so that's the second line here. And you can see these top two lines are exactly the same as these top two lines in the second verse. In fact, the top three, the first three lines are all the same. So we're going to do that C. C major 7, C, C6, C major 7, and then off, on again. Then we're going to change to a G7, and that G7 is going to stay for the end of that line, and eight counts, that whole line there. So you're going to stay on the G7 for quite some time. This is from the beginning. C6 again, C major 7. So you're going to finish off um, the line Jingle Bells Swing and Jingle Bells Ring. The jingle, bell, jingle Bells Ring is going to be the G7. Then the whole line, the whole next line, which is Snowing and Blowing in Bushels of Fun, which is eight counts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be the G7. Then... We're going to introduce this new chord, the D7, and then back to the G7. We're going to have the D7 for, set for four counts and the G7 for four counts as well, because the song, every line, equals to eight counts of beats. So a trick that I do with the going from a G7 to a D7, this is a D7 right here. You've got your middle finger on the second fret of the G string and you've got your ring finger on the second fret of the E string. Yes, the E string. Um, and that's it. You have nothing else on. You've got your two fingers. Now what's great about the G7 and the D7 is that all you're doing is lifting that index finger off and jumping up one string. So that finger's jumping up there and that finger's jumping up there. So if you can practice that movement a few times, you should be able to jump between those two chords um, very easily once you've got it. Just have to make sure that you add your, um, your ring, not your ring finger, your index finger, um, every time you go back to the G7 and lift it off when you go to the D7. So that last line, now the jingle hop has begun. You go one, two, three, four on the D7. One, two, three, four on the G7. And then that is the first verse. I'm going to play that quickly for you now, the whole first verse.
Now, the second verse is exactly the same, except for the last line. You can see that there is a C, a C chord added there. Now, we know what a C is, and we can go to that pretty easily. However, if you remember, I said that each line has eight counts. So, because we've added in an extra chord, then the counts are going to be a little bit different. Instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're going to go one, two, one, two for the G7, and four counts on the C. So, all up, that equals eight counts. So, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. I'll show that for you now. The reason it does that is because the music is indicating that we're going into a different part of the song. So it goes a bit higher to change um, the key of the song. I will play that second verse for you all the way through and you'll notice that the only thing I'm changing is the last line in the frosty air. Okay. So those are the first two verses. The next verse um, is simpler in the way of chords, but we have a couple of strumming techniques using this hand um, as the song changes. Okay, that'll be the next video.